Hello everybody. I haven't uh, filmed anything for a long time. In fact, I picked up my camera and it was covered in dust. That's how long it's been. Uh, sorry about that. But, I mean, although a lot's happened in the world lately, not a great deal has happened in my world. You know, we've all been in lockdown um, and I've just been mostly sat at my desk uh, and that's been about it. And I just haven't felt like there was much to share with you or much motivating me to, to create videos basically because I thought they'd all be exactly the same as the previous one however I have news today if you follow me on Instagram um, you'll know this but uh, Sarah and I went away to uh, Mallorca for a few days uh, for a long weekend um, partly because um, travel was allowed um, and partly because I had a, a burning uh, a burning issue on my mind uh, and that is that I wanted to ask Sarah to marry me. Luckily she said yes. Um, she's just off camera here looking out the window. She's got a bit shy. Um, you can come in if you want to, you don't have to. But uh, yeah, we're getting married, which is really exciting. So um, I thought now that I've actually got something to do, I didn't, get, I didn't ask her to marry me so I had content. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, but I thought that um, perhaps now that there's something to talk about, uh, it might be worth getting the camera out. So um, welcome to a vlog. I think life in general as well, aside from the exciting news in our life, life is also kind of getting back slowly back to normal so there is more to share in general yeah. of our day-to-day -day life true however we're both quarantined just... now yeah so there will be more to share i think yeah like sarah says things are slowly getting back to normal like people are allowed to go out and do stuff now i have to wear a mask which is obviously for the best um but there are you know i think i'll be able to film a bit more because there'll be more stuff happening we both have to quarantine now for two weeks because they keep changing the uh the news though right. so I actually, I'm not going to lie, I really hope that they do um, say that if you've been to the Balearics or the Canaries, you can, because right. I want to see my mum. So, um, yeah, if we've got news. I want to see my mum. It's worth it for us, because we were there for a long weekend and we had some big news, and to be honest, we get to now sort of bubble and cocoon for the next two weeks and just kind of make just plans. Check we got it right. Yeah, <laughs> just, like we, two weeks. just like we like each other, we get to make plans and so we've already sort of putting a guest list together. I don't know when we'll do it. It really depends, to be honest, because my brother was supposed to get married last month, but of course, no, this month. This month. But of course couldn't, because his wedding's now delayed till next year, so I feel like getting one for next year might be tricky. However, it'd be lovely if we could. Um, I feel like that might be a bit of overload for your family, because there's your brother and your sister. Both my brother and They'll sister are getting married a fortnight <laughs> apart from each other, which is really nice. Um, so There's a slot in the middle. There's a slot in the middle, yeah. I mean, it'd be, it'd be lovely. But I'm not expecting it because I feel like all the weddings that were postponed from this year will go next year. So anyway, well, we've got plans to make. So we've got the next two weeks to do that. Here's something else that happened during lockdown that I forgot actually. It actually got finished yesterday or the day before while we were away, but we got our bathroom done. So this bathroom, I don't know if you remember from previous videos, but it was like a weird sort of lime green color. Uh, the tiles, there were nothing wrong with, they were like a slate colour, um, but they just weren't really the ones that we liked. And the wall colour was a very strange lime green. Um, and actually, Sarah did a lot of this. Um, she found the tiles. These tiles here are from a place called Mandarin Stone, which, when we went on the website, <laughs> were, uh, were shocked, because it's a very expensive website. However, these ones just so happened to be on sale, so we ended up getting them half price and they ended up being cheaper than these ones. These are from Topps Tiles. So we've got like a green, um, sorry, the pink and white chevron diamondy thing going on the floor. And then these tiles are like a peacock color. Um, and then the wooden surface, it needs a wipe because the builders have just finished, but that was already here. And I said to the builders, can we keep it, do you think? Because I just, I just thought it would look really nice with the, um, you know, the colors. And I think it really does actually. Like I say, it is a clean. And now we need to get all of like the stuff that lives in here. So usually we've got like bath products on here. We've got shower stuff in the shower. There's like, you know, things. In fact, it's all currently here, look. So we need to put all that away. Builder stuff is here. So the house is actually really nearly done now. We have to do, the only things we want to get done, I want to paint these walls, um, which is actually quite a big job because it goes all the way up there. Uh, and it's all on stairs, which is obviously dangerous for someone who's not um, professional. And it also goes all the way down there. But <clears throat> I don't know if my camera's showing up very well. It's kind of like a bit of a nondescript sort of magnolia-ish colour. 
So we want to change that. I can't remember what colour we're going to do. Um, I've got it somewhere. We are going to keep this red though, because we like the red. Um, and I've got some of that in the shed. The previous owner left it behind. So we'll do that. Um, upstairs, in the upstairs bathroom, we're actually just going to replicate what we've got downstairs because um, we really like it. And I happened to buy extra tiles because um, I just thought while we're doing it and while they're on offer. Currently, this bathroom is like a weird sort of pastel yellow, weird greeny type thing. And then we've got these sandstone tiles and I just don't really think it is very nice basically. So we're just gonna change the floor. It's got wooden floor, weirdly. Take the wooden floor up. We're gonna take up the shower tray too. I just have tiles throughout. And then we'll change this glass here. Have the green tiles there and then have the wall color, which is called Sleepy Kitten, I think, by Valspar. Um, and then the house is done. It's really exciting. Um, yeah, it's coming together. And the reason I have put my camera on a tripod and I've turned the light on and everything is because holding the camera there for so long is gonna hurt my arm. And this might be a slightly longer um, chat. I just wanna say a massive, huge, heartwarming, gracious thank you to everybody who left so much love on my Instagram yesterday when we announced that um, I'd asked Sarah to marry me. It was really nerve-wracking for both of us. For Sarah mostly because she doesn't live her life on the internet like I do and suddenly being exposed to my audience over the last sort of year or so is hard on her, right? And then when we knew it was such a big thing to announce, I, I knew that people would be positive overall, but I also know that for a long time, a lot of my time on the internet, most of my time on the internet, I've been with my ex, and there's a lot of people who have struggled, not a lot, but there are some people who have struggled with the transition. Some people have been really, really vocal about it. Um, now, I just kind of want to clear a few things up. Here's the thing, right? I live my life on the internet. I totally accept the consequences of that. I know that there are going to be questions. I know that there's going to be, sometimes there's going to be hate, and there's going to be definitely opinions. Um, and I can handle all that, absolutely. I actually have a motto. I think one of the royals said it once, not comparing myself to a royal, but it was something that I learned from them. They say, never complain, never explain, right? So I live a really charmed existence. And if, if that means I get a bit of hate here and there or people have opinions of me or whatever, I can deal with that. Um, and so I won't ever complain about it. And also I don't ever feel the need to explain myself. I own my decisions, I make my choices. Um, and I live by them. You guys have been with me for a long time and most of you know me because um, you were watching for a long time so you know who I am and you know you know the way I operate but I also knew that there'd be opinions and that there'd be um, some hate and definitely some I don't know unpleasantness and actually there was hardly any there was only a few things and I really was touched by it and I, re and I thank you very deeply for it. I will say that there has been a lot of press since. Now I was expecting the odd article, but actually it's been everywhere. And all of the headlines are pretty much read. Jim Chapman proposes to Sarah Tarleton 16 months after um, shock split with Tanya Burr. Now, that's not true. <laughs> it's the information that they have, which is why they've put it that way. First things first, me and Tan are really good mates. We talk quite often. Um, we don't do it much on the internet because every time I comment on her Instagram post or she comments on mine, people go, oh my God, can't you let them grieve? Or look at you trying to rub it in. Or, you know, you still love each other or something. And actually, <laughs> we're just mates. That's the thing, that's the reason we broke up because we just became friends. We've been together for so long and we were going in slightly different directions. We just, we just became buddies and it wasn't like right. So. That still stands, we are still mates. Um, the 16 month thing though just isn't true. If anyone's been in a long term relationship, right, you'll know um, that unless there's been some sort of infidelity or some massive drama where it's ended like that, there is a phase where you try to make things work for a while and it just doesn't happen, right? For whatever reason, you want different things. You know, that happened. You don't just switch it on or off. And I will also say that when we did officially switch it off, it was much earlier than when the press got hold of it. The press announced it on a certain date. That is because someone sold the story to the press. But the narrative is now set that that was the day that we broke up, right? And apparently that was 16 months ago. Truth is, it wasn't 16 months ago at all, but 
that's kind of the story we run with. I met Sarah and just, she was wonderful, you know? And I've been so fortunate that I've had the experience of being in love before, so I know what it's like and I know how lucky I am to have found it again. Um, and I just don't want to waste more time not letting her know that and not sharing everything I have with her kind of on a bigger, more official scale, right? So there has been, nothing's written as such, but the way the press write things, it looks like I've moved on super quickly and it looks like um, there was overlap. There was no overlap. And yeah, I did move on quite quickly because the thing is me and Tom were so done and we both knew it. We both moved on quite quickly. Um, but it, was no, it wasn't as quick as the press would make it seem. Anyway, I just wanted to say that because I don't usually explain myself. I don't feel like I usually need to. But when Sarah has been called a few times in the press and a few times by people who have read the press, my mistress, and she is absolutely anything but that. She is like, well, she's just not, right? I'll just leave it at that. I don't need to explain to you what she means to me because I'm sure if you are in love, you will know. Um, but I felt like I wanted to clear it up because it's not so much about me. It's a shame as well that in this industry, it's a really sexist world we live in. The stories are all driven by the females. You know, in my and Sarah's relationship, I'm the one with the following and I'm the one with the audience and the, the notoriety and the fame or whatever. However, the story is always about her and how she reflects on me, or how her and Tanya are, uh, I don't know, it's a shame, and it shouldn't be that way. Um, and I just wanted to sort of say thank you to all you guys for being so wonderful. Um, and, you know, to the press, I mean, it is what it is. They write stories because that's the information they have, and that's the headlines that will get people to click, and I totally understand it, and I don't have any hard feelings. I just wanted to have my say and clear things up. So, um, thank you for listening. Sorry if it was a big ramble. Um, I genuinely was super duper um, just really warm and fuzzy. <laughs> it sounds really late, but I was warm and fuzzy uh, looking at all the comments you guys left. So I appreciate it. Thank you. I've just come downstairs and Sarah has her pastry, um, what's that called? A tray? A tin? Pie dish. A pie dish. Thank you. Um, and then some ingredients out. Cherries I love, almonds I love, sugar <laughs> I love. This is good news. What are you making? Uh, cherry and almond pie, your favourite. One of your faves. Nice. You've already made the pastry as well? Yeah. Oh, I've come a good time, haven't I? I'm currently in a very bad half saddle. Um, I don't know if you can see down here from my phone. Um, I do a video every day um, of stretching stuff, so I'm trying to get more mobile. I'm very stiff, and I've been doing this for about 18 months, and I'm getting better. It's hard when I'm holding a camera in my hand, so. Um, I didn't do yesterday's because I was travelling, so I'm going to do yesterday's and today's while Sarah's making pie, so I'm going to just have a bit of time to myself while she's slaving away in the kitchen. The half saddle is not a good one for me. It stretches your quad, um, your hip, and actually the, um, your shin and your foot as well. And it's not a good one. I've got three minutes to hold. I'll see you in a bit. I'm now uh, doing the half saddle on my left side, so stretching the other side. Uh, meanwhile, in the kitchen, there's been drama. Um, no, you said you wouldn't tell. No, I said I would tell. Sarah oh. um, is blind baking her pastry, but forgot to put foil um, above, so underneath bad. the rice. So you, I, I don't know if you know, I don't know, but blind baking, basically you wait, that you put your pastry in your dish, you weight it down with rice or like um, baking, beans. baking beans or whatever they're called. You put them in the oven and then the pastry's done. So, <laughs> but of course, you're supposed to put something over the pastry so that the beads and the rice don't stick to it. She forgot that. So currently, there's loads of rice uh, in her pastry, which is uh, not ideal. Are you starting again or what? I'm gonna have to start again, Jim. You can't even see this. Oh no. Show people. No, I'm, just, I'm a good baker. You are a good baker, but people make mistakes. My mum's a chef. I am. Make mistakes. I can't Why see. My mum might watch this. That's fine. Your mum makes loads of mistakes. I can't see. Is it? Is it in shot? I don't know. I'm holding the camera. Oh my god! There's loads of rice in there. Yeah, look how stuck it is. Oh god! You totally fucked that, didn't you? <laughs> Tell you what. After I've stretched, especially if I do, so I'm particularly tight around my hips and my lower back. I always feel a bit like wobbly afterwards, but in a good way. Um, I'm on chili duty, so I'm stirring. In here we've got onions, um, chilies, 
Uh, some chorizo, just because we had some left over from before. Garlic. Garlic as well, yeah, correct. Um, and then we put the cherry and almond, I say we, as if I'm doing it. Sarah's put the cherry and almond pie on hold for now, just because she had to redo the pastry. She tried to pick all the rice out, but couldn't. Let's um, pair game, Jim. The pair game? What spices do you think will go in this chilli? Oh, you, uh, oh. okay, interesting game. Right, so if it were me... I've not quite got all of them out, but this is enough that I would probably put in there to... I'd put some chilli flakes in there. Not too many, but some. I would put some paprika in. I quite like paprika, because I've put a lot of that in. Maybe a touch of cinnamon, but not too much. Um, I don't love cumin, but um, I think you need some in there, so i put some of that in there. You're not going to put coriander or oregano, or basil, or za'atar in there, or turmeric. You've got more cumin here. What's the difference? One's ground, one's seeds. I'm going to put seed, put ground in. How did I do? Badly? This goes in too. Coriander goes in. But other than that, did I do well? Pretty much, yeah. Ah. So I finally now, about four hours after I started, no, not that much, but quite a lot later, finished this. I did not put the foil the first time, so now I have. That's going in the oven for like 15 minutes. That's not much rice. Is that, is that enough? You heard, you're <laughs> saying this because the camera's on. He heard me say earlier that it should have more rice, but half of it's in the bin stuck to the old pastry. <laughs> Shut up, Jim. I've got a big old bowl of chili and now we're watching an episode of Condor. If you haven't watched this and you've got Sky, watch it. Season one was spectacular. We're now on season two, episode two. It's good. Also, just as I stopped that, Sarah said it's good eye candy. I have to say, is it Max Iris? Is that his name? Max, or is that his dad? There's two of them. Max. Max is the, is the son. Who was yeah. the dad's name? Jeremy. Jeremy, so Max was, Irons. His dad was Scar in The Lion King. Right, yeah. Max Irons is the lead in this show, and he's bloody brilliant in it, and Sarah's got a crush on him, so I watch it. I have a crush on you. Thanks, darling. But um, he's good looking. I can appreciate it, so if you want some eye candy, um, check it out. Cherry pie is literally just come out of the oven. Don't you have to leave it to cool first for a bit? Uh, yeah, maybe. <coughs> oh, okay. So we'll come back to you. The lighting in here just isn't doing it justice. Here we have cherry and almond pie. Oh my god, it looks so good. I can't wait to try it. How is it, Sarah? Oh, she's got a mouthful. <laughs> but she's smiling. Okay, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I've enjoyed um, vlogging again. Uh, I'll, I'll try and keep you posted on more stuff as it happens. Uh, right now, I'm going to end this video and we're going to have a look at some the beginning of some venues just to sort of see if we can get some inspiration and stuff. But um, thanks very much and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.